What's up everyone, it's Maverick. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. In this video, we'll be doing a playthrough of Mission Number 9 in GTA 5 Story Mode. This one's called Casing the Jewelry Store, and it's the one where Michael and Lester set up the jewelry store heist. So let's get right into it. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. Shh, shh, shh. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City. Nah, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. So for those of you who don't know, the Eastern European guy Lester's referring to is Nico Bellic from GTA 4. I like how he just dropped that reference right in there. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business? FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. But for starters, yeah, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Michael should be impressed. Lester's got skills. But he shouldn't be too surprised. This is what Lester does. Okay, let's get this done. Hey, bitch, how are you? You reading me? Mm hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Sir, thank you. Glasses are live. Shoot away. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Uh, can you get me an air vent and one of the cameras? Great, you got the security camera and the ventilation in that shot. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. 
All right. I think he just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Sweetie! Hello, Gladys? Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. There, some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh... Know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? I'm on the roof! Alright, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. I, I think you guys know who Michael and Lester are talking about. We'll be seeing him a few missions from now. They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Got a good vantage. Now use it and get an image of the air system. That's it. Take the shot and we're finished. We've got our shot of the Angelico unit. Looks good. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Lester's good, but I think even he can't keep track of our friend. That dude does try to keep himself off the grid. Whenever he's not causing chaos, of course. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. If we get a good window, someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you could smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha <laughs> ha Here are the photos. Uh, workers have their uses. 
Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Go and leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? All right, I've got to interrupt Lester here for a sec. As he said, you have two ways of doing the heist, loud or smart. Please keep in mind that if you choose loud, you'll be doing one setup mission, which is mission number 10. In that mission, you'll need to source carbine rifles. But if you choose smart, you'll be doing two setup missions. Mission number 11, where you'll need to source gas grenades from a Humane Labs van, and mission number 12, where you'll need to source a Bugstars van. In my experience, both approaches will yield the same results, with a total take of about 4,945,000 GTA dollars. And this is why I prefer the loud option, as you only need to do one setup mission. Now as far as the crew, I tend to use the best crew possible. They may take a bigger cut, but this just helps things go smoother. And that's my two cents about the options. Now let's hear what Lester will tell you when you choose each of the options. Ah, still a hothead? Well, some things never change. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Cho, now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns, yeah, it might be hot and heavy in there. This guy will keep it from going bad. Gus Moda, yeah, he's a pro, not much else to say. Hacker back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. That look good to you? Are you sure? Okay, I I'll look into how you can find a tack team and get their weapons and I'll be in touch. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Cho, now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns, now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Gus Moda, he's a pro, not much else to say. Hacker, back office, but... This is the person who will determine how long you get inside. Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. That look good to you? Are you sure? Great. I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What, my rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you.
And that's the breakdown of each of the heist options. Now Michael's got to make a quick call to Franklin, so let's listen in. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I got to get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals, your own jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. And that's a wrap for mission number nine. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking around. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I can bring you more GTA videos. Shout out to all my subscribers out there. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.